We are currently right here at Narita Airport. Why we are here is actually we are trying to catch a flight out in the morning, early morning. And yeah, so we are actually spending the night here at the airport. Lawson, review all the top Lawson recommendations. Hmm, interesting idea. How many categories are there? 11 categories? Eh. Okay, this sounds interesting right now. 11 categories. Well, <laughs> our flight out is 7 a.m. in the morning. That's roughly around six hours or so. And we have nothing much to do here. Look at that, the entire place is so empty. There isn't much to do or anything like that. Sounds interesting enough. Let's do it. So what's the first category? Sandwich and bread? Okay, all right, let's do it. This is the particular bread and sandwich that we are trying to look for. This is Lawson's recommendation for this particular category. This, I believe, is tiramisu. I'm trying to look for the Lawson, actually. Probably it's all the way at the other end. What you're looking at, Mr. Mario? <laughs> There isn't seem to be anyone here though. Is the Lawson basement one? Love liner. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Sounds sus. Lawson, Lawson, Lawson. Where are you? No sign of Lawson or anything like that. Oh, there's a gacha wall here. Look at that. Did I get the right memo? Did I miss something? Okay, this is really strange. Oh, this is something new. It's Lawson here. I saw it, guys. Look at that. Jan. <laughs> what a lucky find. Okay, let's search for a tiramisu here. Is any of the tiramisu sandal here? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, this is the bread section here. Oh! I saw it. Look at this, isn't it? Tiramisu sando. Sorry, filming this. Thank you. Hi. How's your day? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I got a question. There is a Lawson upstairs as well, is it? Yeah. It's, is it open 24 hours? Yeah. Oh, because I was there, the security told us it's only open for staff at the... At, yeah. Oh, so it's true. Only okay. Staff. Only staff at this hour. So it seems like I have to go all the way past Mario. Oh, come on, Mario. What a distraction there. Oh, bamboozled. I've been bamboozled. Make me walk one round for nothing. All right, guys. This is it. The tiramisu. It actually looks pretty delicious here. So, uh, I really wonder if... if Lawson recommendation holds water. This is their top recommendation for bread and sandwich category actually. So, it better be good. Mm. Oh! <laughs> really caught me off guard. It's really moist bread, chocolate bread actually. It's surprisingly good, I must I might add. And then look at the healthy amount of tiramisu cream that they provide here. Just awesome. Mm. I'll give it a four. Four out of five star. Not too bad. Pretty good. Now for the second one, which is Combini Sweets category, apparently it's this particular thing right here. Look at that. You know, I'm not so sure what this is. It looks like some chocolate cream puff. So the next category is actually the onigiri and temaki sushi category. This is Lawson's top recommendation for it. Here, look at that. It's a salmon onigiri. Apparently this onigiri is some sort of a premium onigiri. Look at that. <laughs> Advertising how premium this is in comparison to the other ordinary onigiri. Well, let's go. This is it. Both of them we got right here. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. 
It looks really good, guys. It looks really good. I'm not kidding. Let me take this up properly. Look at that. Look at the chocolate coating at the top. Wonderful, isn't it? As, as I touch it, I can feel that the coating is pretty deep. You know, pretty thick, the coating. And there's cocoa powder on the top of the chocolate also. I wonder how it tastes on the inside. Mmm. There are two layers of cream. One is just the cream chocolate, milk chocolate at the top. The bottom is actually a dark chocolate type cream. I tasted the crust on top, the chocolate coating on the top. Oh, that's the first layer of the chocolate flavor. The first layer of chocolate punch. And then followed by the two layer combo here. Completing the one, two, three punch package here. Wonderful. Oh. Ah, oh, the flavor is very intense. Now I can actually smell the chocolate from here as well. It's so chocolatey, this whole entire package here. Mm. Huh. The better view of this, look at that. So thick, so rich the flavor overall. Ooh, chocolatey. Lawson is did not spare any of, of the cream that they have. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Easily. This one is definitely a home run. Wonderful here. Next, we're going to try the salmon onigiri. Oh, look at that. Ooh. This is premium onigiri, according to Lawson. I believe this is where they slap the premium tag on. It's actually on the rice. The rice is actually glittering here. Really shiny, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh. I can expect the salmon to be inside, I guess, based on the picture of the packaging. It looks really delicious though. Mmm. Mmm. Instantly, I can taste a difference in the rice in comparison to the other onigiris out there in the convenience store. The rice tend to be hard, you know, like a small little pebbles. But this one is actually really soft and actually really moist in comparison to those onigiris where the rice is also dry but this is really moist. I think you can see from the image itself. Now, I miss the salmon fish. <laughs> Avoid it, <laughs> unfortunately. Mmm, I see you. I missed it again. <laughs> Look at that. Come on Lawson, you do better than this. Okay, I will not miss this time. The salmon fish retains its moisture. A huge difference in comparison to the other onigiris out there, or salmon onigiris from the convenience store. This is the biggest difference I can, I can taste. Four out of five, just because uh, the salmon fish could have been bigger. Guys, we have a problem here. Apparently, both the noodle and the side dish macro is out of stock. So what we're left with is the Tatsutage Bento. Yeah. Let me contact Neko-san and ask what's number two on the recommendation. This is second on the list. Zaru Soba. Likewise, the macro was not available. So we have a gratin for side dish. Earlier, I thought this was actually the side dish uh, category scratching that they were referring to for the macro replacement but apparently it's not that particular gratin I cannot find here probably it's out of stock however in the noodle section all of the noodles are actually out of stock except for the fourth option or fifth option which happens to be this particular cheese gratin the Lawson cheese gratin so you know what Let's merge the noodles category together with the side dish category because I'm not going to eat two gratins actually. So let's do this. Now have a look at this. This whole night, this whole evening has just been a lot of exercises. Walking and eating, walking and eating. It's actually even more walking than maybe our Asakusa street food video. Have you watched it? If you have not, please do so. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Okay. Let's continue. Enough of the shameless plug. The cheese taste is so strong. The smell of it is just... Whew. 
Mm. Very cheesy. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Look at that. Look at the cheese. Ooh. Can you guys see the cheese pool? Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty amazed with such a cheese pool from a convenience store product here. The cheese is really cheesy, thick, you know, full of uh, flavor. The aftertaste is pretty good, pretty refreshing. It doesn't linger in the mouth. That's a really huge plus point. Yeah, overall, not too bad. The pasta is slightly soft though. Yeah, look at that. It's slightly soft. I don't think it's that good. But the cheese itself, I think it's worth to buy, you know, based on just based off the cheese. Mm. The rice look good actually with seaweed and sesame seed over there. The seaweed taste is pronounced in the rice. The sesame gives it a very nutty kind of fragrance here within the rice. Now let's try the main character here, the main actor. The Tatsutage. Look at that. Pretty huge, I might add. Pretty huge. Oh, the batter is pretty thick. I can actually also taste a, uh, a ginger seasoning here. The marination, you know, there's probably ginger. I tasted it. That is probably what it gives the freshness to the tatsutage. That it doesn't taste so tiresome after a while. Mm. The meat is great, slightly towards the salty side. It seems like each time I eat one piece of the meat, I have to eat the rice. Because it's too deep. I added the sauce, the Oroshi Ponzu, and see actually if the better situation improves. Slightly better. But the problem is, you need a lot of this sauce. In my opinion, this is probably a three. Five final categories. Over here, we have the first one, which is the hot snack category. This is the second recommendation by Lawson, actually. The first one is really out of stock. Uh, from the past few times I've been to Lawson just now. And then for drink section, we have this, the cappuccino. Now this is the convenience store donuts category. This comes in at number one. The penultimate category, this is the soup and miso soup category. I'm supposed to look for this. Apparently I heard this is really popular. And then the last category, the snacks category. All the lights at the airport is turned off to save electricity. Let me adjust the lighting, the actual lighting. <laughs> Look at this guys, this is the actual lighting currently right now. <laughs> Pretty interesting, isn't it? It's about, it's 10 to 3 a.m. Oh, what an adventure so far trying all the top recommendations by Lawson. One can only hope now I don't put on too much weight. <laughs> we have a problem. First problem, it seems like no more hot snack. Any hot snack here? No more hot snack. The staff was kind enough to tell me that there is a Lawson on the fifth floor and they have the hot snack we are looking for. Oh, look at this. Oh. No, it seems like I'm not able to go up. Bad news, guys. It seems like we are not able to get to fifth floor until much later in the morning. I'm gonna try the cappuccino right now. What can I expect from this? Ooh. Even darker right now. For some reason. Oh. Pretty tasty. The coffee taste is pronounced enough. It's not too milky. Yeah, I recommend. For this, I will give you four. Now, we're gonna try this now, the soup, right? Sips like a spicy flavor. Yeah, the smell of the soup is just pretty awesome here. Very familiar Korean spicy flavor type of smell. 
Mm. Everything you can come to expect of a spicy Korean soup, this is what you get here. Absolutely fantastic. No qualms, no fuss. Everything is inside here. Spicy, salty, you know, together with the uh, sesame seed and also the spring onions, the Welsh onions. Oh, perfect. Five out of five. Mmm. Mmm. It has a very uh, familiar convenience store donut kind of taste right here. You know, the kind of hard donut, right? And tastes somewhat like a biscuit as well. Overall, just fantastic. Oh, by the way, they just turn on, turn on the lights. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Make sure butter cookie, right? And then afterwards, over here, I definitely can taste the honey. Truth is name, honey churroki is basically a combination of churros and uh, cookie. With that, I'm actually willing to give this 5 out of 5 here. The penultimate category. This is the snack category. Here we have the tsunage wheat snack. Mmm, very fragrant. Oh, let's try. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very familiar salted rice cracker taste. I think this nails it, right? A very traditional kind of rice cracker taste, salted rice cracker taste. Very, very crunchy on the outside. Oh, and the way it's shaped is actually pretty huge. Look at that. Isn't it? Look at that. You know, look at the diameter of this. Right? It's shaped so convenient that you can put the entire thing in your mouth and eat it easily. Look at that. <laughs> Mild salty, such that when you eat it, it's very flavorful. According to Neko-san, tsuna actually means rope in Japanese. So what they're trying to refer here is actually the design of the rice cracker is actually in a rope-like shape. In a rope-like design. Look at that. Rope-like design. Mm, perfect. We are back with a vengeance. Looking for the hot snack. Right, let's finish this and finish the challenge here. I'm looking for a particular hot snack. Okay, they have it here. This is the rank number one for the hot snack category. We're gonna get a packet of this and yeah, see how it is. This is finally here. Well, I have to wait sort of over four hours for this, if I'm not wrong. This is the regular karage. Oh, the box art looks pretty cute though. Look at the chicken. Chung. We can finally taste if this deserves to be number one. Look at that. Ooh. Inter interesting shape, this karage. It's like a coin. I was expecting, you know, those the kind of deformed type of uh, karage look. But this one really neat. It looks like coins actually. Look at this. Ooh, really crispy. Look at that. Golden nuggets. Golden coin. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a small bite. Mmm. Oishi, look at that. Really tender inside the chicken meat. Could you see how moist the chicken meat is inside? The juices of the chicken? Oh, fabulous, you know, when I, when I took the first bite in, the outside is a pretty, you know, the kind of nuggety type of, you know, the kind of chicken nuggety type of skin on the outside, really soft. But then a slight crunch and you enter the meat. Oh, the chicken meat just stand out there, really juicy, really sweet. Mmm. For me personally, I'll give this a 4 out of 5. Well, I guess I was expecting more crunchy on the outside. The skin of the karage could be more crunchy, but make no mistake, what carried the score was actually the chicken meat itself inside, the juiciness of it, the moisture of it, ooh, the sweetness of the meat is just fantastic. Really a standout here in this particular item here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, our Lawson Recommendation Challenge. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.